Business First Lady uh, of the Republic of Rwanda. Thank you so much for having us here on this opportunity to convene to discuss such a fantastic uh, opportunity about the young entrepreneur in Africa. A uh, little bit of background, as you know, SMEs comprise over 90% of the African economy and 98% of Rwanda economy. Moreover, SMEs contribute to 41% of all private employment in Rwanda, which proves that this country has become a, base, a bastion of successful entrepreneurs. As opposed to approximately 50 to 60% in typical market of Europe and North America, they are the lifeblood of our real economy. Today, these small and growing businesses create around 80% of the region employment, thereby establishing a new middle class and fueling demand for new goods and services. By 2035, the number of Africans joining the working age population will exceed, exceed that of the rest of the world combined. According to the International Monetary Fund, and a high percentage of the population will start his or her, or her own business in Africa, and hence creating more jobs. We at IHS believe that increased mobile network coverage and quality and boosting SME product productivity will be vital to job creation and the future of Rwanda and Africa. Technology all over Africa is helping a lot of SMEs overcome some of those long-term problems such as transport, power, and other area of difficulty in the continent. ICT are at the heart of SME business, stimulating productivity, helping overcome tough operating environment, and opening up new markets in areas like the creative industries, apps, gaming, retail, and services, etc. Mobile is making a big contribution to rural businesses. Poverty is more acute in rural Rwanda. So supporting SME in this population will help the country reduce inequality. One way to lessen the urban-rural digital divide is to deepen the application of mobile to agriculture, the sector in which the majority of Rwanda's rural dwellers work. Technology are already being applied to a range of agriculture-related processes. From out online crop advice to price checking and climate risk information, combined with improved mobile network quality and in rural region, this penetration of ICT across wider geographies can significantly support favorable income distribution trends throughout the country. And this is exactly what you're doing to get today with various provider and uh, technology innovation in the world, trying to develop something that we can really provide cheap, not cheap, low cost and high quality data access for rural areas all over Africa. So you may ask, what do you need to be a successful entrepreneur in Africa? What is impressive about entrepreneurship in Africa is the level of creativity. Every challenge is seen as an opportunity to create a new business. I like to talk here, not reading now, <laughs> about what happened to us in, in IHS. When we started in IHS, it happened that during 2001, when they privatized the telecommunication sector in, in Nigeria, we realized that the operators are facing a lot of problems building their own sites. It was a very uh, challenging process for them. So we decided, why don't we do it for them and let them focus on their main business, which is selling airtime and data. So we started doing building sites for operators, and a lot of other companies also did the same like us. A few years later, we realized that maintaining those sites became a challenge for them. So we said, why don't we go and maintain it for them and so that they can focus on their own business selling airtime and data. So we started maintaining their sites. And then we found, we found that the market is getting a little bit saturated. We said, okay, why don't we buy their towers so they can have more access to, to fund, so they can expand their network in other areas, so we can get more business, and we let this network be shared with other operators as well. And as this was the key for our success as IHS, as one of the players in the African continent in the telecom industry. But the key characteristics are hard work, passion, creativity, vision, boldness, pragmatism, and patience. Whether you are a potential tech pioneer or innovator willing to solve social challenges, those characteristics are crucial for all entrepreneurs. People might say that we are lucky sometimes to be here where we are today as entrepreneurs who made it so far in life. I don't believe in that there's something called luck. There's education, skills, access to information. You get the skill to see an opportunity, you grab it, you do the calculated risk, and you're successful. So what we have to do to help bring up young entrepreneurs in, in Africa, we have to work on 
giving them proper education and access to information. These are the three, two key criteria from my point of view to be able to put new entrepreneurs on the right track. Also, we have to work together, existing companies, people who made it already, government, banks, to see how we can ease, make their life easier, let them have easy access for funds, easy access for information, easy processes. Those young guys do not have funds to equip their companies with a lot of resources, so we have to simplify all the processes for them to help them succeed and make it, and make it in life. Finally, to conclude, in further support to the Imbuto Foundation and its various initiatives for women, kids, seniors, and widows, today we announced an additional as well contribution to the foundation. This additional support is the result of an outstanding two-year partnership, which we believe has a strong future for the coming years. To the First Lady, thank you so much for establishing such an efficient and human foundation. And for young entrepreneurs, we are here supporting you, and thank you. Thank you.